In today's video, I am transforming Old Twist from this to this. The products I'm using for this style are this Curl Defining Cream from Maintain, L'Oreal's Holding Spray, Seamless Elastics, Rubber Bands, and an Edge Control Brush. I'll be showing you how I do a bubble ponytail on super stretched hair, which displays my length pretty well. I'm going to untwist these old twists while I tell you what to expect from this video. Throughout the video, I'll be sharing with you seven of my best tips for retaining length on fine natural hair. These are the things that I've been doing consistently that I've seen results from, and I think you could help you as well. The tips will be on the screen, so don't fast forward. Watch through to the end so you don't miss a thing. In the opposite corner, I'll share a tip or detail on creating this style as I'm doing it as well. Because my hair was cleanly parted for these large loose twists, I'm going to use the front section that's already parted for the front of this style. Clipping that section out of the way, now we have our first tip. Keeping my fine natural hair stretched. This is a big one and it is appropriate that I'm sharing it now since this is stretched hair that I'm working on and is the base of this style. While I love wash and goes on fine hair, that's already pretty fragile. The wash and go leads to some serious breakage at times due to the tangling. I still will do my wash and goes from time to time, only the summertime, but this is definitely not a staple hairstyle for me anymore. So here I'm just using the edge control brush to kind of neaten up the front a little bit. My gray hairs are on full effect on these edges and they just look a little bit nicer in my opinion when I smooth them out. This is obviously an optional step. So to create an elongated ponytail look, the key is to create two ponytails that are really, really close together. I am putting the top in a ponytail and then I'm going to join it with the bottom ponytail. And that brings me to tip number two. Second tip is to treat your detangling time like you're walking through a minefield, slow and carefully. If you try to rush the process, it will be more difficult to retain length. So whenever I'm detangling my fine hair, I take my time with it. Now that I've secured that top ponytail to the bottom one, I'm just using a little bit of the Maintain product to just moisturize the length of the bottom ponytail and to remove some of the tangling. And now I'm going to use rubber bands to create the bubbles. I know some people are concerned about rubber bands because they can break your hair, but I'm not concerned because I'm going to just pop them out when it's time to remove them. Okay, we have another tip, tip number three. It's also related to detangling and that's to only detangle on wet hair under the shower stream where you have lots of slippery detangling conditioner in your hair. And it's a bonus if you wear plastic gloves to finger detangle with. I do this most of the time. So without delay, I'm gonna move on to the fourth tip, which is to double seal your ends. I've been doing this for quite a long time. Anytime I have a braid or a twist, I make sure I seal with a hair butter and then an alcohol-free gel. I don't think I showed it all in this clip, but this is what I did. It greatly helps keep my ends fused together so they don't split prematurely. I say prematurely because they will split eventually. That's just what happens with hair over time, especially fine hair. So now I'm gonna work on this section and that is to simply put them in two strand twists. I have quite a bit of permanent parts in my hair. Notice, even though I'm using the rat tail comb, I have parts that are pretty much there. So speeding things up a bit, I've already worked product throughout the hair, which is the cream, and I'm just twisting the length of my hair. It doesn't take very many twists to put in. This probably took me about five minutes to do. And now let's talk about our next tip. For tip number five, I avoid using hair bands and combs with seams. So I don't use combs to detangle with unless they are seamless, and I won't use hair bands unless they are seamless. The exception is if my hair is in a twists or braids, but for ponytails, no seams. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of this style tutorial. I'm going to speed up the twisting of my hair, and we have two more tips to discuss. Tip number six is to protective style more often than not. Yes, we all know this is 
helpful for retaining length, protective styling, but why? Because it works. When your ends or the majority of your hair is exposed, you will have wear and tear on your hair much more often, cutting down the amount of length that you can achieve. I definitely saved my best and favorite tip for last. Number seven may be a bit controversial for some, but I'm still a heavy advocate of the use of protein in fine hair, regardless of porosity. I know, I know, I know you've heard, oh, if you have low porosity hair, you don't really need protein as much. But for me, I have found that having mostly low porosity hair myself, Due to my hair's fragile nature, I still need to regularly give myself small doses of protein or give my hair small doses of protein. Do with this tip as you wish. I find that it is working for me. So for those of you who stayed to the end, just is just to let you guys know, I will not be doing a video next week because I am going on a mini vacation. So I will see you the following week and that is going to be a great video because I am actually going to a salon to get my hair trimmed. Yeah, I'm about to lose some inches, but hopefully not too many inches. We did have a discussion about it. But anyway, that is it for this style. It is done pretty much and I love it so, so much. All I do is tie my hair down with a scarf and it lasts for days. Because my ponytail is not secured tight, it doesn't cause much stress on my hair. I hope you found the tips useful. I have more on the channel and if you are new here, check the description box below for some of my most popular videos as well as a link to my Amazon shop where I basically share all of the products and the different tools and accessories that I use in my fine natural hair.